make a vi- I made a short little video. I didn't really get into it, so I saw that she said like you can make Christmas carols and stuff like that. And I got to the point where I could add a hat onto them, the Santa hat. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn but, the like, audio on. They're a bunch of they're. It's a blast. It's a it's a good waste of time and forgetting the world. So explain the visuals while I'm playing with this thing, because I'm going off mic so you can hear it. So there's multicolored, like, blobs. So there's a red one, a green one, a blue one, and a purple one, and they're each different. Like, it's a soprano, an alto, a tenor, and a bass. And then you pull them. If it's on your phone or, like, your touch device, you can pull them up and slide them forward and backwards to kind of hit different notes. Um and so basically you, and then you can record a video of them like doing everything. So it's a lot of, it's, it's very tactile, but it's a lot of fun. Like I was like, I don't know. It was, it was just good time. <laughs> so I got the Christmas hats on them and then they do have some pre-made uh, videos on here. Hold on. Let me stop this a second. Oh, now he's just singing. Oh, that, that's my video. That's cool. And then uh, you can, let's see, you got your Christmas hats, and then you can do pre-made songs. <laughs> this is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. And you see why you could lose some time for a while. Yeah, I first tried it on the iPad, and it was it was cool that it was like a very kind of touch-sensitive kind of thing. This is a Google experiment. Uh, with Google Arts and Culture. I didn't know that was a thing until this. Um, I think it's a point. Um, also, did you know there's a Google Arts and Culture app as well? 